by Alan Fram the Associated Press Washington, Democrats pushed a $3. 5 trillion, 10-year bill strengthening social safety net and climate programs through the House Budget Committee on Saturday, but one Democrat voted no, illustrating the challenges party leaders face in winning the near unanimity they'll need to push the sprawling package through Congress. The Democratic-dominated panel, meeting virtually, approved the measure on a near-party-line vote, 20-17. Passage marked a necessary but minor checking of a procedural box for Democrats by edging it a step closer to debate by the full House. Under budget rules, the committee wasn't allowed to significantly amend the two, 465-page measure, the product of 13 other House committees. More important work has been happening in an opaque procession of mostly unannounced phone calls, meetings and other bargaining sessions among party leaders and rank-and-file lawmakers. President Joe Biden, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, D.N. Why, have led a behind-the-scenes hunt for compromises to resolve internal divisions and, they hope, allow approval of the mammoth bill soon. Pelosi told fellow Democrats Saturday that they must pass the social and environment package this week, along with a separate infrastructure bill and a third measure preventing a government shutdown on Friday. Her letter to colleagues underscored the pile of crucial work Congress Democratic majority faces in coming days and seemed an effort to build urgency to resolve long-standing disputes quickly. The next few days will be a time of intensity, she wrote. Moderate Representative Scott Peters, Democrat California, joined all 16 Republicans on the Budget Committee in opposing the legislation. His objections included one that troubles many Democrats, a reluctance to back a bill with provisions that would later be dropped by the Senate. Many Democrats don't want to become politically vulnerable by backing language that might be controversial back home, only to see it not become law. That preference for voting only on a social and environment bill that's already a House-Senate compromise could complicate Pelosi's effort for a House vote this week, 